Hello, I'm not a YouTuber, much less a commentary YouTuber, but I really wanted to weigh in my opinion on the recent allegations against YouTuber Cody Ko, but also not so recently as these allegations have actually been around for a really long time now. I still have yet to see a lot of big names that I would have really expected to talk about this, talk about this. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's still some people who haven't heard about this or just know little information about it. So if you don't know, um, let me give you a brief rundown over what's happened. Essentially, Tana Mojo, a creator who has been on this platform for a long time now and has been known to be extremely controversial throughout her whole career, has accused Cody of statutory rape when he was 25 and she was 17. These are obviously really serious allegations that to me, an occasional watcher and enjoyer of Cody's content came completely out of the blue yet had a surprising amount of evidence to back those claims up the reason this came out so out of the blue for me and i think a lot of other people is because of the lack of big creators really talking about this right now and also because people really hate tana Tan has actually mentioned what happened allegedly between her and Cody on multiple occasions. But the two most recent times were at a live event where she was asked who the smallest dick she's slept with is and she name dropped Cody Ko. And the most recent time was on her podcast when she went into it in a little bit more detail. What makes these allegations so damning, however, is that YouTuber Gabby Hanna told Tana's story years ago, stating that she saw them making out at Playlist Live and even tried to warn him that she was only 17 and apparently he thanked her and then slept with her anyway, allegedly. This story matches the same one that Tana has been telling and Gabby never even used names when she originally told the story. The clip um, where she told that story, um, the original has also been completely taken off the internet and the um, resurface of the clip was really really hard to find. So this is a lot. Having a witness making accusations about this sort of thing is very good for Tana, especially when that witness told the story years ago. The other day YouTuber D'Angelo Wallace made a video covering these allegations which really brought them to the surface for a lot of people. Um, YouTubers such as Rachel Oates and Amanda Todd Hunter had covered this first but a bigger creator was really needed to amplify this story and since it seems so many were feigning to do so um, D'Angelo stepped in to directly call out um, Cody to answer for these allegations and also these bigger creators who haven't spoken on the situation. Right now Cody has scrubbed his YouTube comments um, so hard um, that only vague comments about the situations have been able to slip through the cracks yet on his Instagram the comments are a dumpster fire. His Reddit was being heavily cens uh, censored until recently where I think they've lowered the censorship a bit. I'm seeing a lot of posts um, from people now. His wife Kelsey um, hasn't made a statement. His friend Noel hasn't made a statement. Um, his friend Brittany Broski posted a story recently um, stating that she was devastated to hear about this. Cody has said nothing yet and I honestly expect it to stay that way. Um, he was an Ivy League school frat boy who associated with and is still very good friends with an alleged rapist named Colby Leachman um, who was a groomsman at Cody and Kelsey's wedding recently. Cody has never addressed this situation, even though obviously the, the allegations have been around for a long time, um, but the internet is starting to get all over this, which is gonna make it so that he is gonna have no choice but to respond soon. But I find it a little bit more likely that he will quietly leave the internet as I feel like that would be a lot easier for him and he has a wife and kids now and a lot of, money i assume so with this kind of allegation i don't expect him to try and speak up against them especially if he can't disprove them of course he could come out and try and disprove everything but with the heavy censorship and the evidence against him i think it's pretty it's gonna be pretty hard especially if this is all the truth i want to talk about tana um, the comments she has received have been absolutely disgusting. Whenever allegations like this are floating around, I see the same thing every single time. Um, people bashing the women who make these accusations and accusing them of lying. And I really feel like that a lot of that is because people don't like it when women try to deplatform powerful, um, l beloved men, especially on the internet. 
I've seen comments saying, well, she was 17, almost 18, so it's fine, which no, the fuck it's not. The only reason the age of consent is 18 be is because it has to be somewhere. If Tana was 18, that would be very, very morally disgusting in my opinion, but her being 17 makes the alleged act a crime. And I'm just so sick of people trying to justify like, 17 year olds being groomed or sexually assaulted or raped and trying to say that like oh it's fine because she was almost legal and it's like well but she wasn't and even if she was legal i still think it's gross that older men have anything to do with these barely adults i've also seen people ask why um tana hasn't come out sooner and she did also even if she hadn't like that's none of your business it's really hard for a lot of victims to come out about this sort of thing period we don't live in a world where it's easy for women or even men to talk up about like rape and such and that's just how it is and i don't see how people who ask these sorts of questions i don't see how they don't realize that they're a part of the problem because if you're just slightly too late or really too late um you'll get bashed on and be accused of doing it for attention or just to do it because you don't like this person so you're saying like trying to ruin their life now now even though oh they've changed as a person or whatever or oh it was years ago it doesn't matter but it does matter i really think claiming that stuff like this is just done for attention and that's why it comes out later is the biggest cope ever but like with the rate that stuff like this is coming out especially recently i'm so surprised i'm still seeing this stuff in comments at like an alarming level. Hannah being a controversial figure does not excuse the backlash she is receiving from coming out about this. No one is the perfect victim and if these allegations are proven to be true then Tana would have been like one of the best examples of this. I feel awful for her and I hope she is doing okay um, and I'm glad that her story is being picked up by bigger YouTubers so that this is like me reaching the mainstream and that hopefully something can come of this. The amount of usually straight, usually white, usually men that have been accused of things like this recently and have had a lot of evidence against them for it, especially within the recent weeks, such as Twitch streamer, Dr. Disrespect, YouTuber, I'm Alex, and now Cody Ko. Um, it's super alarming and it's honestly making me grow really tired of the not all men phrase because it just feels like it's growing weaker and weaker every day. I don't see why these people can't just be normal adults and have normal relationships with other normal adults. That's all I have to say about this topic right now. Um, please treat topics like this delicately and stop bashing women for coming out about things like this. The majority of the time it ends up being true or at least it comes out to be mostly believed as true. Um, I don't know how I'm allowed to phrase that. I don't even know when I'm supposed to use allegedly sometimes. I've never done this kind of thing before. Um, soon I would really like to make a video on the topic of the commentary space as a whole. Now that this kind of stuff has blown up and especially because in D'Angelo's video, he mentioned how the commentary space has become like a boys club and stuff. And it's something I've had an issue with for a while um, as I'm an avid watcher of like commentary videos. And it's like, I've, mm, I have my gripes with it. I really enjoy a lot of the commentary YouTubers, but I definitely have like my gripes with a lot of them. And it's something I'd really like to talk about. Um, if you would like to see that, let me know. If more comes out about this situation, I may address that too. Um, I can make another video about it, depending, but I'm not a YouTuber, so maybe. Thanks for watching.